Hey everybody, welcome to Repeats Week 2. This is our first uh, cycle of repeating something. So we have our stability and core, so really just focused on bracing, really holding flexion and tension through the core as we move uh, off balance. So you, so you need two different sets of weights, two different weighted sets. Um, I have kettlebells that I'm going to be using. I have my 24 kilo and my 20 kilo. Um, you can also use dumbbells just fine. So find something a little bit on the heavier side if you can. Um, if you're working on stability and core, then maybe start a little bit lighter, um, but just have fun with it. All right, let's go ahead and get our warm up going. So start on your hands and knees and go back into your child's pose. So put your knees nice and wide and your big toes together. Have your feet fold under so the tops of the foot is on the ground. See if you can drop your forehead all the way to the ground and your hips all the way on your heels. Reach your arms really far forward. Keep your elbows up off the mat and then screw your hands into the ground so that you get a nice external rotation through the shoulders. The elbows are kind of pulling down toward the mat. A couple deep breaths. Let your hips kind of shift left and right. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and pull the body forward so that we get a back extension. Bring your knees closer together, open through the chest, again, pushing through the thumb and first finger, pulling the elbows back. So you kind of get that spiral torque in the arms, a little stretch through the forearms, engage the glutes so that you protect your low back, come back to your hands and knees. Let's go through some cat-cow, always a good little start. <clears throat> Let the abdominals stretch and open, get some movement through the spinal column all the way through the cervical spine, up in your neck, through the middle, the thoracic spine, that lumbar spine, all the way down the bottom. This is a good opportunity to kind of check in and see where your back feels better. Do you feel a little bit better as you're going into extension or into flexion? And that can kind of tell you what you need to watch out for in your pelvis, right? So if you feel a little bit better when you tuck under, so you're kind of going for more of a posterior tilt in your pelvis, so you're in your back flexion. Maybe you need to watch that a little bit more. Feel that tailbone tuck under when we're standing, or if it feels better when you're letting your uh, pelvis tip forward, that anterior tilt, maybe you need to push the pelvis forward and let it drop in front as you're standing. All right, go ahead and lie on your back for me. And we're gonna do our pelvic rotation and we're gonna get started. So cross your right ankle over your left knee, put your arms out wide, make sure that that heel is right in line with your hip and shoulder. Rotate out to the side, let your right knee drop away from the hip. We'll take two deep breaths, there's one. And two, roll your legs in, set up for the other side. Push the left knee away from the body. Rotate your legs to the right. Push that left knee away from the body. There's one breath. And two. All right, so we start off with a high plank. If high planks don't work for you, you can go onto your elbows and manage from there very, very easily. If a low plank, your forearms, doesn't work either, just stay on your hands and knees. But really watch your pelvis, keep the belly engaged, and you lift and lower here, keeping the hips level. Okay, here we go. 10, nine, so stability and flexion, holding everything nice and stable and square through movement. So right here, it's not really about how high you get your leg. It's about keeping everything still. Hold the leg up and curl it in. Push it back, curl it in, push it back. Three, four. You can feel that supporting quad. So the leg that's holding you up, that quad is working nice and hard. And your hamstring on the pulling leg. Other side, 10, 9. Keep everything leveled off. Focus on that lower abdominal draw. Then curl that leg in. You got it. Keep those hips level. Nine, ten. 
rotate to your forearm. Stack your legs, stack the hips, and then we're going to do an abduction. You can use your top arm for some support. You can also stay on your bottom knee if you would like. Now stay up and you're going to crunch that leg in. Think about what you're working. Use that full trunk flexion, then find your oblique. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we get our other side. Nice high hips, good flexion. Ten, crunching. Stability from that deep core. Nine, ten. All right, beautiful. Take a quick low squat. I'm trying to float more of these into my daily regimen. Gotta watch my feet, keep them all nice and square and even. Okay, so now we're gonna get going with those offset bells, dumbbells or kettlebells. Doesn't really matter which side, we're gonna switch it around in a sec. Grab that one each side. Core strong, chest tall. We're gonna march. Pull your knee, one knee straight up, trying to keep flexion through the core, trunk, and torso. And 10. Okay, now we're gonna get that hold and kick. Find your quad on that kicking side. Feel that flexion. Oh, thought I had it. I think I have four to go. Four, three, oh, two, and one. Man, struggle today. All right. We get to switch it up. Other side. Different arm holding the heavy weight. Okay, flex in. Take time. This isn't about speed. It's about control. Okay, up and hold. Try to hold everything neutral. Eight, nine, ten. Good job. Take those arms up. Pull one arm up and over. We're going to be going into this hinge, that QL hinge. We're going to get six per side. Hinge over to your weighted side, then pull back. Pull that belly button back. Tailbone, six tucks under. You're getting that stretch, then that contraction. <sighs> Trying to keep your body straight up and down. Lift out of that side from your hips. 
Okay. We're going to have our donuts, single leg deadlifts, and our swings. All right. So whichever weight you would like. I don't remember which one I did last time. We're going to go around your waist. Flex tight through that core. Make sure you're ready to get that grab. Eight. There's ten. Other side. Pull that belly button in. Deep interior core flexion. Trying to go super deep. Nine, ten. All right. Single leg deadlifts are next. Let's hinge forward. Little offset here. Stretch your back. Straight leg. And go to the other side. All right. I'm going to start right leg first on the ground, left arm holding my kettlebell, six per side. Lengthen, feel that hamstring and glute. Six, other side. Okay, gear up for your swings, 20 swings, and then we'll be back to the top. This will be good. Get the heart rate up. Remember, it's all about momentum. Get your glutes and your core. Make sure you're hinging more than you're squatting. Last two. Last one. Good job. Whew. All right, let's sink into that little squat. Check in with everything. Feels good. Like how it gets the heart rate up. All right. Set two. High plank. Flex and load. Keep your hips level. Kick that leg up. Three, four. And curl it in. Connect to your body. Feel that hamstring. Low belly. Eight, nine, ten. Other side. No twisting. Okay, curl it in. Ten. Whew. All right, we're going to hit up that side plank with our abduction, then our crunch. Good, solid flexion through your oblique. Also that glute on that side. Ten. 
10, crunch it in. side. Get your height. Oops, long on one. Stack the hips. Nine, ten. Sliding my sweat. Nine, ten. All right. Nice work. Coming up, and we're going to get our marches. Marches and kicks. All right. Let's see. Start on that left side. Ten. Nine. One. Here we go. Nine, ten. Crazy what those different flexions you have going on your supporting leg, working leg, core, upper back, that grip. Gnarly, gnarly. Start to lean, come on. Ten. Stretch, stretch. Okay, six of those QL hinges. So, just thinking about the, today compared to last week. I remember last week, this set uh, got me surprisingly wounded. Tired. I thought, oh, it's just because of what I've already been doing. Already a little pre fatigued. But I think it's the nature of the set. There's so much you've got to focus on and hold flex. So it's still a challenge. So we'll see. Ugh. What next week feels like. <sighs> Two more. Six. Woo! Oh, down that. And then our single leg deadlifts. All right, here we go. Four. 
10. Four. Pulling that low belly up and in. Ten. Good job. <clears throat> okay, left leg first this time. Right arm holds that weight. Square the hips. Engage the core. Try to pull that back toe so it points straight at the ground. Six. Other side. Where's the core? That's our big goal and purpose for today. So we're unstable. We have that asymmetric move. Only one side is holding the weight. We have to counterbalance on that other side. Five. Six. All right. Swings. Feeling the glutes, feeling the hamstrings, feeling the core, middle back, and my forearms. All right. Set it back. First swing from the ground. Snap those hips into place. Nice job. Sit in your low squat. Let yourself recover. Whew. I think we have better timing so far than last week. <clears throat> so maybe that's why I'm still feeling <coughs> so winded. All right, here we go. High plank, last round through. Now curl it in, pull your elbows back toward the back of the mat, eight, nine, ten, other side, tuck in through the tailbone, make sure you're not losing your low back. Okay, now hold it up, curl it in. <clears throat> 10. <Oof. clears throat> All right. Woo. Side plank. I'm gonna get those. Abductions. Here we go. Set it in. Make it count. Flex that foot back and down. Seven, 
eight, nine, ten, crunch it in. Seven, nine, ten. Okay. Other side. <clears throat> Don't allow the body to cheat. Feel that out, doctor. Ten. Pull. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Marshes and kicks. Keep that lift. As you fatigue, do not allow your body to droop or drop. Stop holding that core. Time's a turn. Oh. oh my gosh. All right. Other side. <laughs> Left leg supporting. Engage. Here we go. Set it up. These have gotten much more doable. Unless I'm cheating, but I don't think I am. Or better. Better hinge, range of motion on those. We're down in the lose my bell. Okay, we have our donuts and our single leg deadlifts. Eight, 
ten. Seven, find that core. Eight, <coughs> nine, <sighs> ten. Okay, those got sloppy. I'm well aware. Alrighty. <sighs> Left arm holds. I don't think that will help them. I'll try. <sighs> Just through six. <sighs> Boy. Starting over. Mental. Mental connection. There it is. Four. Five. And six. Other side. Oh, goodness. Okay, swings. That's all we gotta do. And then we'll get our stretch. <sighs> all right, I was feeling pretty good. Like worked. But good, those first couple rounds, this third one. Nailed me. Very interesting. I like it, I like that push. My rating of perceived exertion, that intensity level. <laughs> Feels very high. Doesn't really matter what the output is. It's the intensity. That level of intensity. Ready? And go. toes together. Tops of the feet on the ground. Knees wide. Stretch those arms forward. See if you can get your forehead on the ground. Settle your breath. Put your knees together to the left. Your hands go to the right. Stack your left hand on top of the right. Other side, knees to the right, right arm on top of the left. Okay, I'm gonna do a narrow lunge. I'm gonna stretch that knee forward, trying to keep the heel on the ground. Go for a little bit of ankle mobility, calf. Square off the hips. Do what feels good for your back. Okay, let's stretch it forward. So kick that leg nice and far. Toes are up. Open the back of the knee. Good job. Should feel that extra flexion, stability work and build through the core 
the trunk and the torso. Rotate that ankle. Oh, okay. We're going to switch. Other side. <clears throat> so slide forward. Keep that heel on the ground. Get your knee over the toes as much as possible. Letting that heart rate settle. Alrighty, then kick it forward. Toes are up, score the hips. Back hip forward, front hip back. Find that hamstring. Okay, land on your back. Same as we started with. So I'm gonna go this way, I think. So lie on your back, feet are hip width, arms are out wide, palms on the ground. Line up your right ankle with your hip, shoulder, arms are out, palms on the ground. Cross your left ankle on top of the right knee. Push the knee away, make sure you're still square, and then Rotate to the right, oh, keeping your left shoulder tacked in the ground. We're going to hold 30 seconds. Extend the left knee away from the left shoulder. Let the knee drop out. Focus on your breath. See if you can close the mouth. Breathe in and out your nose. Long, slow exhales. Okay, roll it in. Before we switch to the other side, interlace your hands around the right thigh. <coughs> Flex both feet. Pull the legs into the chest. the other side okay make sure everything's neutral lined up right leg over your left knee arms are out wide so now I actually am very intrigued to see what happens next week if I'm just as winded and worked who knows maybe it's a Monday thing Try not to hold tension. I was holding tension. Just relax. Let the knee drop away. All right, roll in. Interlace your hands around that left thigh. Flexing both feet. Drawing deep into the chest. Stretch that right glute. Extend both legs long in front of you. Reach your arms up overhead, behind you. Inhale, extend, extend, reach, reach, reach. Deep inhale, exhale, slowly roll up. Reach over those toes. Let your chin tuck into the chest no matter where you're at. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Live with purpose, excitement, 
curiosity. And I'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs>